Well, Europeans knew for many years that there were tropical diseases that couldn't survive outside of the tropics. They didn't understand why. They had no idea. Uh, in fact, tropical diseases kept the Europeans out of Africa for centuries, whereas they could bring Africans out of Africa into Europe and America with no problem. Well, that whole mystery came to a rapid solution with the Spanish-American War in 1898, when the United States, inspired by all kinds of jingoism and yellow journalism and, and uh, uh, self-righteousness and uh, maybe industrial aggressiveness, who knows, decided to liberate Cuba from Spain, Cuba the last vestige of the once great Spanish empire in America. Well, it didn't take very long for the Americans to accomplish their goal. And by the Treaty of Paris of 1898, the Spanish withdrew from Cuba, and the United States sent into Cuba uh, 50,000 American soldiers as an occupying army. Well, the governor general of Cuba was uh, a general by the name of Leonard Wood, who had entered the army as a physician. Then it had given up his uh, medical uh, role to become a military man. And Wood had been involved in the campaign during the, the war, the, particularly the Santiago campaign in July and August of 1898, when uh, many times as many American soldiers died from yellow fever as did from Spanish bullets. And so Wood was very concerned about what would happen to these 50,000 occupiers. Uh, as a physician himself, he had no idea what was causing yellow fever. Uh, he personally thought that it was filthy living conditions, and so he ordered his men to uh, get clean, uh, strict hygiene standards uh, uh, like that. One of his lieutenants during the war had been Lieutenant Colonel Theodore Roosevelt, soon to become President of the United States. Roosevelt thought that yellow fever happened because of bad air, so he ordered his men to camp on high ground where the air smelled better. Well, what was going on, of course, and we know this well now, is that yellow fever was a, caused by a virus that uh, went from mosquitoes to human hosts. And so it was the mosquito population. In fact, they discovered eventually two different species of mosquitoes who were biting people and causing yellow fever. Uh, Wood, uh, again, unaware of this, I mean, he, he began to believe that maybe he didn't even understand how the disease spread. He thought maybe it was by what we call fomites, uh, contact between soldiers, uh, shared clothing, things like that. Well, eventually Wood appointed a commission headed by two brilliant majors, uh, Major Walter Reed at the very head of it and another major by the name of William Gorgas. And these two men, both of whom, by the way, were also not on the right track for a long time, began to investigate the disease. They began to experiment. They began to do what they could, even with human volunteers, to try to discover what the cause of this was. Well, the pieces of the puzzle gradually came together, and it became apparent that it was indeed the mosquito. And so Reed and uh, Gorgas uh, proceeded under the Reed Commission uh, to go after the mosquitoes. Mosquito abatement became the solution to the yellow fever problem, and it really did work wonders. It absolutely uh, uh, caused the incidence of yellow fever on the island of Cuba uh, virtually to disappear. Well, President Roosevelt, uh, getting ready to build the Panama Canal, understood that the reason the French had been able to build the canal was largely due to yellow fever, and so he uh, also then followed this program of mosquito abatement. And it worked amazingly. Uh, one could argue that it was the, uh, the destruction of the mosquitoes in the Panama Canal Zone that built the Panama Canal. So in this case, we've got not so much the effect of disease on warfare, but instead kind of the converse, the effect of war on disease and how we deal with disease. Well, finally, in the 1920s, after it had become clear that it was a virus causing this terrible disease, sometimes called yellow jack or uh, black vomit because it would cause a person to, to vomit projectile black material, uh, that this virus uh, was the cause of it and the virus became identified. And then the Rockefeller Foundation came along and funded, uh, with a lot of money, a program to develop a vaccine. And finally, by 1937, uh, we have a vaccine uh, against yellow fever 
and uh, very effective. So combined with mosquito abatement, a vaccine to put this terrible scourge uh, behind the human species.